My name is Charles Frank, and I lived in Rochester all my life. That's Rochester, Pennsylvania. I got drafted in 1942, 90 days after D-Day, we went to England, and then and a week after that, we was loaded on a troop ship, and we landed in uh, Omaha Beach, the same way the other guys did, but, but we had no bullets coming in at us. But uh, the beach was still littered with helmets and rifles, and... When I, I see one of our dead guys, and even if I saw a dead German, I kind of felt bad. I figured their dad and their mother was going to get a telegram saying their son was killed. And I felt the same way for the German, too, because I felt that, that he had to go to war the same as I did, you know. And, and as far as seeing guys wounded, no, I've seen lots of them. <laughs> but the one I can remember most of all was... Uh, we had to reach a certain area and wipe out that machine gun nest and radio back and, and we had these big old radio sun and then they didn't work half the time. I was trying to call back to headquarters and I couldn't get it and, and my assistant squad leader said, give it to me. He says, I'll go up here in the high grounds a little bit. He took it and he, when he's going up there, artillery hit him and cut him right in half. And he, he was asking for, for medics and we said, well, we'll just say you a prayer.